is presented by you know, last night was totally different what i did last night was self-defense my life ray and the lives of the people that i love were threatened i had to act don't look at me like that it's true it's a complete rationalization uh, no. come on man don't lie to yourself like no. that don't lie to yourself to justify your sins as righteousness you go down that road you are lost my brother you are gone I don't, I don't know why, but I'm thinking about my father a lot lately. And I just, I can't stop wondering if he struggled with these same decisions. I'm sure he did as did my father and their father before them. And we both know what their answer was, right? It doesn't have to be your answer, Danny. Look, I don't want you to move out. But I really, really hate what you did to Rick and Abby. And it's made me feel like I can't even trust you anymore. Well, that's nothing if not honest. Thank you, I think. Well, does that mean the upshot is I don't have to call the movers? Not on my account. You better talk to Rick and check it out with him. And Danny. Danny's opinion doesn't really count right now. Why not? Because he doesn't live here anymore. What? We split up. And don't look so shocked. I know that you're thrilled. I am not, Michelle. Oh, my goodness. What happened? What on you earth happened? He and he left. Okay? Before that, Let's sweetie. Let's just call it a difference in opinion on life. On life or a way of life? Danny made his choice. That's all that I want to say on the matter. I just know how much you two love each other. I can't believe That's you That's all that I want to say. Of course. I am so sorry, sweetheart. Yeah. Look, is there anything I can do? Yeah, you know, I would really like to enjoy my breakfast. And although we've had a nice semi-bonding moment here, I think maybe you should go. Let's not push our luck, okay? I was so sure that I was different from my father, different from Mick, all of them. You were. And I knew that I was going to have to take over my family's business, but I just, I was so certain that I would find a way out somehow by, uh, I don't know, divine intervention, something. I'd get a reprieve. If you want someone to contradict that theory, you're looking at the wrong guy. Yeah. Just, I met Michelle. When you met Michelle, you believed she was your savior. I believe she still is. At least the closest thing on this earth. I also believe there's still hope for you, for the both of you, for your marriage. No, look, I just... I can't, I can't. I've put her through enough... Already, I just... I need to figure out what the hell is going on inside me before I can ask anything of her. All right, I'll buy that. Good place to start might be with a confession. No, oh, no, Ray, I can't. I cannot apologize for what I did. Because it had to be done, right? The code, the justice, you had no choice. Even though you threw away all those reasons once before. What? No, no, that was just... 
totally different situation. No, Danny. According to the code, when Michelle killed Nick, you should have dealt with her the same way you dealt with this guy from Chicago. But instead, you went against Carmen, against what was expected of you, and you spared Man, Michelle. Michelle, life. what she did was self-defense. And she was not a threat to the family. She wasn't a danger to but anyone. The code still The code was wrong. It was wrong. So Ray. when you want to abide by the code, it's right. And when you don't, it's wrong. What, are you making up your own rules as you go along? Is that it? Huh? So then you're not bound by blood or honor or anything else. You are bound by what's in here. I'm going to leave you alone and think about that for a while. Thanks, 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 thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Man, you know I'm just a phone call away. You know that. Right? Yeah. You mind if I discuss this with Michelle? No, just no. Go see her. That'd be good. I'd find out if she's okay. I will. Anything you want me to tell her? Mm -mm. No. Hey. Nothing. Nothing. Tell her nothing. Hey, look at me. Never give up hope. Never give up hope. Not in your marriage, but especially not in yourself, man. Making cookies. I never would have guessed. Yeah. Uh, well, I made plenty. Uh, you could probably take some with you to the soup kitchen. Okay, I'll do that. Good. I'm just gonna. Michelle, unless I lost count, you promised to be Danny's wife, what, three times now? I think that's two more than necessary, even for the big guy. So, what's this talk I hear about separation? I don't know why I'm surprised that he talked to you. I mean, I'm, I'm glad that he has somebody to talk to. You know, I mean, he needs somebody to confide in. I know you still love him. Yeah, I do. But did he even tell you what happened last night? Yes, he did. Do you condone it? Why don't you just tell me what's going on with you? What's going on? I feel like no matter how much I love him, it doesn't make a difference. Because he tries to get out, and he has tried, and he has tried. And no matter what happens, no matter what he does, he can't get away from his family. Michelle, he never will if you leave him. I'm Danny's savior. You can't lay that on me, Ray. It's not fair. Hey, I'm not laying anything on you. I'm just saying Danny's a better person when he's with you. Well, that doesn't make a difference to him. I, mean, I really thought that we wanted the same things, you know? I thought we wanted a simple, normal, legal life with a beautiful house and beautiful children. Is that so much to ask for? Danny still wants all that. Well, if he wanted that, then he would have gone to the police with his information instead of dealing with it himself. And instead, he just went back to doing exactly what his family has always done. And Ray, every time he does that, it just hurts us. And a little part of me dies. And I can't keep going on with it. I've just reached my limit. Look, I understand that, but there's other ways of dealing with this besides leaving him. I mean, there's counseling, there's... Counseling is not going to make a difference. Do you know what he did? Do you know what he allowed Carlos to do to that man? And the fact that he let that affect our marriage. I, I can't get past it. I can't. Michelle, I have seen you and my cousin weather more storms in the past year than most people do in 50. I know you guys can get through anything. Remember the vows you made? Remind Danny, not me. I know. I know that he promised to 
to forsake all others and stick with me to the end. And that includes Carmen and Hitman. Michelle, you made a vow to Danny. You promised before God to be his partner for life, for better or worse. Well, welcome to worse. Here it is. This is a test of your commitment. Your husband needs you now more than ever.